Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to The Witcher. Uh, we're taking care of a couple of things right now. We basically need to hit, hit, we need to head to the jail and talk to Jethro. First of all, we gotta get our stuff back and find out more about this prisoner that's being held there. We also gotta turn in uh, proof of killing the cockatrice to Vincent. So that's where I'm headed. I'm not sure if I'm going to get uh, intercepted on the way, but who knows, so gonna head forward and uh, take a left hospital street hospital okay so that's interesting we got a hospital here I'm not sure I was gonna say I'm not sure what they do there I'm pretty sure I know what they do at hospitals but I just find this place a little bit sketchy <laughs> But I guess it would be probably one of the larger cities in the area. That guy that we read about, Vizima, had tons of stuff in it, so... Vivaldi and Sons, cooperative bank, keeping your coins safe for the last five centuries. I wonder if I could break into that. Honest folks sleep at night. What are you doing on the street? Honest folks sleep at night. What are you honest doing on the folks street? Sleep okay, so honest folks sleep at night. In case you guys, anybody was wondering, uh, the honest folk sleep at night. Uh, since I'm right here at Taller's place, there is something that we need to talk to him about. And I believe it's about Baron Baron Gar. I don't know if it's Baron Jar or Baron Gar. Just was spilled the beans. He said they found the silver sword at Taller's place. I wonder where the fence got it from. I need to visit him and find out. So, since we're here, oh. Oh, here he is. All right. He's older than I thought he would be. I'm a fence. I buy and sell. What do you deal in? Everything worthwhile. <sighs> so what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Plowing business. All right, let's see if I can sell some stuff. How about? I got some valuables here I'd rather save. I can get rid of this flint. Goodbye. Uh, the whetstones I should probably actually use instead of just sitting there. I got this stuff for bombs that I don't know how to make yet. And then everything else, I mean, I don't really need any of these axes, I don't think. Bear fat. What do we got here? Book of the Golden Oriole. Excerpt from the Witcher Secret, stolen from Kaer Morhen. Contains formula for potions. Blue Meteorite. 300 bucks. And Sun Rune. Weapon upgrade, chance of critical effects, incineration and blinding. That's pretty cool. Into Silver Blades. I should probably do that. That would be pretty awesome. But what are these Blue Meteorites? We saw this before, I believe, but I didn't have the money. Piece of blue meteorite that can be used by a smith to forge a sword. And you need three pieces of meteorite to reforge a sword. Man, I just that's a lot of money for something I can't use. But the sun rune seems like it would be pretty badass. So I'm actually going to pick this up. And I will also buy this scroll. Oh, 400! Damn it! I sh <laughs> Ah... Okay, I'm gonna have to come and buy this after. Unless, how much is this for? Well, 300 bucks. You know what, golden diamond necklace? I could give it to someone, sure, but... I mean, do I really need it? A gold diamond ring? And I would just be short, but then I could probably sell something. I could sell something else. I could sell the, uh, the diamond, or I could sell this amber ring. Yeah, I'm going to sell the gold diamond ring. Then I'm going to sell the amber ring. Or wait, how much is the bomb since I can't make it anyways? Four and four, that would be eight. Okay, we can do it. Just enough. And then I can buy this scroll. Spend all my money on this guy. The scroll better be worth it. 
Scroll contains formula for the following potions. Golden Oriole detoxifies and produces a resistance to poison. Wolf increases chance of precise hit. That's crucial. Kills monsters that bite or drink blood. Okay, interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to build or create any of them based on the stuff I have, but it's cool nonetheless. A strong drug. Oh, this we heard somebody was addicted to fizz tech at some point. Now, how do I... Do I just drop it on here? Branded into silver blades. Oh, wait a sec. Yeah, no, that's silver. Okay, interesting. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> if somebody could tell me how to use this, that would be great. Maybe I have to be at a certain place or something, but I have no idea. So let's talk to him again. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Go see if I can get him drunk. Just in drinking contest to gain information and rewards. May refuse anything but their favorite beverage. Out drink your opponent, but take care not to pass out. Okay, well I don't I don't really have a lot of drinks. Hell with it. You didn't like that? How about this? Yeah, that's all I have. <laughs> Nothing doing, Witcher. Okay, fine. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? The city guards found a Witcher's sword at your place. First of all, it's the cocksucking guards. Second, why do you care? Another Witcher, Berengar, came to see you. Well, it wasn't his fucking razor. How do you know that? I have your boyfriend's other property. Ooh. The sword I got elsewhere. Other property? Right. Meaning not his sword, got it? Like his undershorts that he pissed all over or something. What? How did you get Berenger's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. You don't get it. I'm not interested in the middleman. I want information about Berenger. And thou fucking ask me. Your witcher boy was working for the alchemist, Kalkstein. That information you get free. I'll charge you the usual for anything else. Shit, that's not gonna be good. So where did you get the sword? What'll you give me if I tell you? I'll stop short of gutting you. Fair offer. <laughs> I bought it from a man at the Hairy Bear Tavern. Care to describe him? No need, he's the most famous dice player around. Out fucking standing, a real goddamn magician. I could take him. How did you get Berenger's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. Let's find Where out about this middleman. At the Hairy Bear Tavern. Doubt he'd want to talk to you. Man named Kalman. Okay, good to know. Have you heard of Salamandra? Piss swilling reptiles. I've heard of them, but I've no fucking idea what they want. Amphibians. What? Salamanders are amphibians. Now tell me your connection to them. I'll be proud if I know. You do business with Salamandra? Did you fucking fall off your horse? How did you get Berenger's effects? Dog's balls, I'm a fence. <laughs> Want me to draw you a picture? Dog's you balls. You think I ask every thief who he plowed for his goods? Let me draw you a picture. A certain organization, Salamandra, has it in for witchers. A witcher, Berengar, disappears, and all he had lands in the hands of a fence. You. Getting this? A pox on pictures. Berengar's nothing to me. My suppliers might know more. Besides, I'd never survive in this business if I sold hot goods I actually had a hand in getting. Unconvincing. Innocent until proven guilty, I guess. So let's assume it's not you for now. I'd say so. Goddamn Dijkstra, a spy. Dog's balls, what a clever <laughs> analysis. If you figure anything out and need more information, creep on over and we'll talk. Okay, I'll be coming back to you. I have to grill Tyler about the silver sword to find out how it ended up in Vizima. I have to go to the hairy bear and talk to the guy. Okay, so let's head to the inn. I should ask around in the city in this environment to find out how Tyler got his hands on Berger's things. 
Interesting. So we got to go to the Harry Bear Inn. Uh, we can talk to Coleman, who's a regular there, and also uh, talk to the Dice Gambler. So I'm not sure where that is, but if it's on our way to the jail, then I will stop there. City Dungeon seems to be right over here. Dungeon door. I don't suppose I could just knock. I may as well take all of these. I'm gonna have to go out somewhere, I'm sure. And it's an easy way to make money. Wolf contract. Wolf pelts delivered to the landing in the swamp. Ten pelts required. As for Jean-Pierre. Handsome reward awaits any individuals supplying three Econops rootstocks as proof of having exterminated the plants. Okay. Inquire with the gardener working in St. Lebi Lebiota's hospital in the Temple Quarter. But I do not have this in the uh, bestiary. So I'll have to figure that out at some point. Al Ghul. Must be fresh. Marrow of three of them. Kalkstein in the Temple Quarters. Okay. The dog. I will pay for the elimination of stray dogs. Oh, man. I kind of feel like that's weird. And the Drowned Dead. The Order of the Flaming Rolls will reward brave extermination of the Drowned Dead as a proof of having defeated the monsters. Ten Drowned Dead Tongues must be delivered to the Knight Siegfried of Danael in the headquarters of the Order. That's my buddy. But, uh... I'm pretty sure we have the Drowned Dead Bestiary. Yeah, right here. Okay. So we have some of these things. We have Wolf. There's only that weird plant thing that we don't have, I think. I'm sure we'll find that somewhere. I gotta make some money now, though. That's the real deal. Okay, I got a couple guys I could talk to. Floor grading. Where's that gonna take me? I don't know if that's a good idea. You killed the cockatrice. On behalf of King Faltest, I grant you an official pardon. Finally, this absurdity is over. Take your belongings from the trunk before I sell them. And remember the reward on the cockatrice's head. Vincent gets very excited about trophies. Ah, I can finally relax. I'll inspect what we've confiscated here. Hmm. Good quality gear. Yeah. Okay. Something must be done about that. Oh, interesting. Level gain straight up. That's cool. Oh, that's all my stuff. Jeez. Oh, I can't fit everything. What am I gonna do? Damage minus 20%, so let's get rid of that. Can I just... No. And then... I want everything else, but I really have to go to like the inn or something to store all this stuff. I think I'll just leave this here and then come back, perhaps. Hopefully that works out. You're free, but you still need to observe the quarantine. Meaning? Don't leave the temple quarter. You must be kidding. We keep a close eye on you, Witchers. Okay. Didn't I hear you say that everyone's equal? What is it, Witcher? Let's see here. I'm gonna talk about the salamander first. Uh, it's a slim chance, but maybe we can use the uh, the cockatrice head as like bait for him to get him to tell us stuff. How's the salamander investigation going? Patience, Witcher. All will be explained tonight. Any way I can help? Stay clear of the warehouses and the slums. It's a sensitive case that doesn't require your sword. Just yet. The warehouses. You don't intend to go there alone. It's a secret operation. How do you expect me to go? 
With an assault team and full plate armor and a bugler? Relax. I'm no rookie. And I got a few things up my sleeve. No doubt. Meaning? <laughs> no matter. Have a good time today. Enjoy your freedom. And maybe tomorrow I'll serve you Javid's balls on a platter. Huh. They say you're holding a salamander prisoner. Maybe we are. What's it to you? Well, I wouldn't mind knowing. You'll get no information out of me or my men. I have a feeling that uh, I could probably get some information. I can prove I killed the cockatrice. Impressive. That's 400 Oren's reward. Well deserved. I need that too. Do you handle monsters too? I'd rather not waste my men on that. I pay anyone who kills a monster. Just bring proof. What pays best? Right now, my budget includes reward money for the cockatrice in the sewers, and for some bloodthirsty plant that kills people in the swamp. Well, maybe he can tell me about that. No, I don't want to leave yet. So I could check out these warehouses at midnight, it says. I could possibly go into the warehouse in the slums district at midnight. Speak to Jethro for more information on the prisoner. He seems like an easier target. <laughs> oh, damn it, strong. It's hammered. What's strong? None of your business. I just. <laughs> Is he the guy doing the uh, the drugs? Got a cold? <laughs> You're pretty green. <laughs> Not so green. I don't know the best way to take fist tech. There we go. Fold back your skin and rub. Where? Where you can fold back your skin, Jethro. <laughs> if you buy Fiztech from Coleman at the Hairy Bear, don't say I sent you. Why was the professor released from prison? He has powerful friends. Let that be a warning. Don't annoy those more powerful than you. I should be like the city guards. Release criminals whenever someone shakes a coin pouch. Hey, you're still under observation. Besides, someone bailed him out. Completely legal. Who was this Balling benefactor? bullshit. No idea. Money was transferred from Vivaldi's Dwarven Bank. Impossible to trace. Drop it. I could get into trouble talking like this. Well, I'm gonna give you something, and I'm gonna give you this fist tech. <laughs> I never turn down good fist tech. Who did you confiscate the Witcher's sword from? Tala, the fence. Has to earn his living somehow. Before we let the professor out, Tala and Vincent were chatting in the courtyard. Before I went down the sewers. Somehow I sense it was no coincidence. Where do I find Tala? I marked the place on the map. But don't kill him. We have a deal with him. Well, we already kind of knew that. You should drop that habit. Maybe. But not today. See ya. Interesting. Well, oh, I feel I could single handedly stop a cavalry charge. I feel like oh, I feel I could single handedly stop a cavalry charge. That prisoner, I don't know where he is. Like going down to the sewers again. Is that really the greatest of ideas? Oh, no. No, it isn't. Okay, drowners. Jeez. Okay, how do I get out of here now? Because this is actually not where I want to be. So, exit temple quarter. I'm actually just going to try to run past these things if I can. I assume more are going to jump at me. Yep. Goodbye. Oh, 
Okay, I gotta take him out, I guess. I think you guys are on fire. Good for you. Leave me alone. So I'm going to have to check here because now we've got, where's the Taller here? Like, Jethro is saying that it's him, or that he, he got the sword from him or something. Dwarf Vivaldi and the Salamander, I'll talk to the dwarf and try to learn more. Around that corner, something moved. Likely monsters again. Okay, so we went to the... Went to the, uh, Thaler's place. We went to the dungeon. Kalkstein, we could go talk to him. What I should really do is go to the Hairy Bear Inn. What time is it, though? Because... This might be a good time to go to the warehouse. 